Right, a little bit more video. I'm just going to do a couple of short ones. So as you can see now, the shoreline's coming into view. But I'll be picking up the coastal path in a minute. Um, what I might do one day, I will do one day, is actually go down further onto the beach and have a look. And a little wander. But I imagine I'm going to be coming off down that way tomorrow. That's what I think will happen. Keeping the old fingers crossed. I'm glad I left... I left town Western about half past eight. I mean, I've been up for ages. I went and picked the van up at uh, half past six, brought her down, loaded her up, had to put 20p in the parking. That's why she's parked elsewhere, because she can't park where I am. There's all metres. And uh, they start charging you from eight in the morning. Anyway, what's happened is I've... Um, I got over here about 11 o'clock-ish, but I had to stop for petrol, don't forget. I had a couple of stops on the way over. It was a steady drive. There was no traffic jams. Uh, I sailed through Bridgewater without any trouble. I sailed through all the other villages, like Bypass Cannington, Bypass Nether Stowey, usual places. And uh, it was, you know, absolutely straightforward and I got here with no problems whatsoever and uh, I could see it at a nice sight as soon as I seen it but of course obviously a lot of people have gone now um, a lot of people have gone there's only one thing I think I might when I was locking the sliding door I usually put my hand round and then lock lock it from the passenger side of the driver, driver uh, up front. I don't think I'll put my hand round to lock it when I got back in. I know I locked the driver side. I've locked the back. But there's no way. I just have to keep my fingers crossed. I mean, I'm not going to be that late getting back. I've got no idea. It's all new. But already a few people are coming up the rear. Two looks like what I call two very young fit people. Boy and a girl. Um, looks like they're coming now, so I've got um, I'm hoping I'm gonna get on the uh, path in a minute. Yeah, here we go. I thought it's worth video and when I can <sighs> worth video and where I can. Spark Hayes Marsh. Yeah. But of course, that's the way down. Um, see, look at these views, everyone. Look. I mean, you can walk along this bit here, or I think you can. You have to turn off. It's a bit unclear. There might be a sign in a minute because they said. Um, What's that say there? Footpath, shingle, ridge, or coastal path to Porlock Weir, that way. <sighs> what I'll do, I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to come back here. I just want to go and have a quick look along here. It does give you a caution. I'm just going to do a little bit. Boardwalk submerged at 10 metres at high tides. Tides can rise very quickly. Yeah, that's it. So, alternative route, follow Shingle Ridge with sea to your left, two miles to Porlock. Follow Shingle Ridge with sea to your left, two miles to return to Porlock. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit here. So when the tide comes in, this gets covered, this boardwalk. 
and you can get cut off. Look at those hills there, they fit in the distance, look. Look at those hills. Yeah, I'll be I'll be going along there in a minute. I'm just going. I'm literally just having a little walk here and coming back. I'm just going to go up to that ridge ahead of ahead, ahead of me. Otherwise, you miss all this. You see, fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. So this can be covered by water. I just want to go up here though, just for a minute. Alright, turn it off. Come back on the end in a minute.